The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. Chapter 17, The Hunting of the White Stag. The battle was over. Those on the side of evil gave up. Peter told Aslan how Edmund had saved them by smashing the witch's wand. When they found Edmund, he was covered with blood. Lucy gave him some of the juice from the bottle given to her by Father Christmas, and he was okay. Time passed in Narnia, and Peter became known as King Peter the Magnificent. Susan was tall and beautiful, and many kings and princes from other countries wanted to marry her. Edmund was called King Edmund the Just, and Lucy was known as Queen Lucy the Valiant. The children became the rulers of Narnia. One day, looking for a white stag, they trekked it to a lamppost. They walked back through the wardrobe. Hardly any time had passed at all. The maid was still giving the tour as she had been when they went into Narnia. That would be the end of the story, except they had taken coats from the wardrobe when they first went into Narnia. The children felt that they should confess to the professor that they had taken the coats and would not be able to get them back. The professor said they could never get back to Narnia by the same route twice and not to worry about missing the coats. The children became the rulers of Narnia.